everyone, welcome. My name is Kyle for the win, and welcome to another Call of Duty Black Ops 4 video. In this video, we have some very, very awesome stuff coming this week in Call of Duty Black Ops 4, and it's basically a this week in Call of Duty Black Ops 4 video, basically. Uh, we have a lot of awesome coming, including new maps, the return of Shamrock and Awe. It's, a, it's an awesome video, so... Starting off here, the gameplay in the background is some lockdown kill confirmed using the MX-9. Uh, we do pretty well. I'm not going to spoil the score, but uh, this, this was a really, really fun game. Uh, I am using the MX-9, I think, with Long Barrel, FMJ, and Rapid Fire. I could be wrong, but that's what I think the loadout is. So it's a pretty good class setup. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy the gameplay. It's also my first game of the day. Yesterday, it was my first game of the day. Uh, so yeah, pretty awesome. Anyways, jumping into the very first big thing for uh, that's coming to Call of Duty tomorrow, we have the return of Shamrock and Awe event, which is super, super cool. I don't know exactly how this event is going to go for Black Ops 4, but what I believe it's going to be is, once again, another kind of, another supply stream, basically. Hopefully the supply stream is like 15 or 20 uh, different tiers. I hope, I hope so. That'd be really, really cool. Uh, we could probably expect maybe a new Mastercraft weapon variant, maybe a new one or two new DLC weapons. Uh, so that's very, very interesting as well. A while back, we got a leak about the Mini 14 sniper rifle, as well as a sledgehammer melee weapon. So some of those items may be released in tomorrow's supply stream before Call of Duty Black Ops 4. Of course, the Shamrock and I event will go all this stuff that I'm going to talk about in this video will be going live tomorrow uh, March 12th first on PlayStation 4 around a week later for Xbox one and PC unfortunately with these uh, events and everything that is uh, with Call of Duty apparently they've decided that now every single update every single you know game update to the game will now go first on PlayStation which kind of sucks I feel really bad for you guys on Xbox uh, I miss those days when all the events went uh, live completely first on every console but unfortunately it is what it is nothing we can do about it uh, but all this stuff is going live tomorrow on PlayStation 4 uh, so a lot of content so Shamrock and Awe of course is the first event possibly some DLC weapons probably some new skins maybe new face paints all stuff sorts of stuff of that nature uh, which is pretty cool as well Next, for the multiplayer update, we're getting a brand new mode called Stockpile, which is, according to the tweet from Treyarch Studios, which I will probably have had on the screen for the entire duration of this section, is basically what Stockpile says, it is a Black Ops 3 Fracture mode has been reimagined as a as Stockpile, returning March 12th on PS4, deliver enemy tags into the deposit site to secure victory for your team so basically it's like fracture if you guys remember fracture from black ops 3 really really fun mode and it is coming back once again uh in some cases you can get your streaks in literally two seconds it's absolutely crazy it's a super super fun mode uh and definitely expect some gameplay on that come tomorrow as well next we have another multiplayer update which is a map a brand new map well kind of a, a map nonetheless called contraband hurricane which Basically is the map that you know and love called Contraband, which is honestly one of my favorite base maps here in the game. That, that's just a fresh Black Ops 4 map. If I could say my favorite map in the game just off the top of my head, I'm definitely going to go with Slums. Just saying. Uh, that's my favorite map in this game. Uh, that's, you know, just in this game itself. But we're getting a new map called Contraband Hurricane. Basically, this is going to be falling under the Seaside Sunset and the Firing Range Night. Except it's going to be a dynamic weather map, which I think is really, really cool. It's not a brand new map, but it will feel like a new map. For example, uh, a lot of people are probably going to be complaining about Contraband Hurricane coming into the game, but I don't mind remakes. And plus, these changed remakes are actually, honestly, next to Firing Range Night and Firing Range Day, I pretty much do the same. But for some reason, on Seaside Sunset, I do about twice as good on that map as the regular seaside so it's really weird how that works so it is a kind of a different map and this is I think going to be the first dynamic weather multiplayer map that we've ever seen which is really really cool hopefully it's not out of control and crazy I just hope it's 
very kind of a controlled, maybe just wind, maybe cloudy, maybe a little bit of rain, but nothing that will kind of throw your aim off. I hope not, but really cool. We get a fresh brand new map, which I think a lot of people are excited for. So that'll put us at 15 total maps in the game, as well as six DLC maps, So, which is pretty cool as well. So Contraband Hurricane, another free map coming into this game tomorrow, which is pretty dang awesome as well. Now jumping into Blackout, we have a spring map update, as well as hardcore mode. So, of course, we've had that fall theme for a really long time, so now we're going back to spring, which is really cool. What the spring map update will com consist of, I'm not really sure, in all honesty. I think, of course, they'll probably change the colors of the leaves to be green. Uh, maybe change some other things, which is pretty cool as well. So that's really awesome. And hardcore mode is also coming to Blackout, which is really cool as well. So basically what they describe hardcore mode as is, experience Blackout with no HUD, Armor, vehicles, or zombies in our all-new hardcore game mode. Use all your blackout strategies to survive, starting March 12th on PlayStation 4. Really, really interesting mode there. Uh, no HUD, no armor, no vehicles, and no zombies. So, basically, it's basically bare bones. I don't know exactly how it's going to go. Kill, kill time-wise, if it's the normal kill time, or if it's... Of course, it's going to be sped up a little bit because of no armor, but I wonder if it's going to be like multiplayer hardcore or if it's going to be like a different type of hardcore because if you guys don't know hardcore in hardcore and multiplayer, you get shot down in about a shot. So hopefully that's not the same for Blackout because if Blackout hardcore was like that, I don't think it would really be that fun. But that's just me. I don't like hardcore that much because I don't like having no chance. So we'll see how this mode works out. Of course, I'll be getting gameplay for you guys on this as well, come, well, whenever I have time to do that. Probably Thursday. Probably Thursday is when I'll get that gameplay out for you guys. So it sounds like fun. Hopefully, it's a solo mode. Maybe it may not be, though. I'm hoping it's solo because I love playing solo modes. And, uh, yeah, so I'm, I mean, I, I, just, I apologize because I'm playing a little bit campy in this part of the game. Uh, the, team, the enemy team somehow got an attack chopper. have no idea how that happened, but... Anyways, that's why I'm kind of camping in this building, because I don't want to die by the chopper. Anyways, back to the video itself. Uh, so, hardcore mode for Blackout, pretty cool. Hopefully, it's a lot of fun. Hopefully, it's not exactly like hardcore, like multiplayer. Hopefully, it's a very different type of hardcore, and is more oriented towards just a quicker time to kill, obviously, because there's not going to be any armor, but kind of a no HUD, different type of Battle Royale experience. I kind of hope they do it like Fortnite did it with their hardcore mode. I don't exactly remember what the mode was called in Fortnite, but it was a lot of fun, kind of really hilarious, especially in squads. So we'll see how it goes come tomorrow as well. But yeah, hopefully it's really good. And for all you zombies guys out there, Helcatraz Gauntlet is coming to PS4 tomorrow as well. Again, around a week later for you guys on PlayStation, uh, on Xbox One and PC. I'm really looking forward to this. I actually want to try this gauntlet mode finally. I have been a slacker on the gauntlet modes. I haven't played not one single gauntlet mode these, the entire duration of Black Ops 4. So I'm definitely going to try my best to jump over and play some Helcatraz gauntlet. And it is an all-new gauntlet mode that arrives, of course, on March 12th tomorrow. And battle through 30 rounds of challenges as the Primus crew on the Blood of the Dead on Blood of the Dead in Helcatraz, so that's really fun as well. If you guys want to see a playthrough for that, leave a like or leave a comment down below, and I'll definitely get that out for you guys. I think I may do it anyway, just because I love Blood of the Dead, and I really want to play uh, that map for you guys. But, with all that being said, I think that is absolutely everything for that is coming tomorrow for Black Ops 4. There is also another bullet point here that says League Play Improvements and much more. So, what does that much more mean? Who knows, they may be doing some weapon tuning, they may be uh, doing some streak buffs, streak nerfs, gun nerfs, they may do be doing a whole bunch of other things. Uh, I'm really curious to see exactly what they're doing, but that is absolutely everything guys. I really really hope you enjoyed the gameplay in the background. We did pretty well, as I said, the final score for that gameplay was 49 and 3, almost a 50 kill, kill confirmed game there. I had an it was a really, really fun game, and I really, really hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy the video, make sure you have a like, subscribe if you are new. Make sure you stay tuned to my channel for tomorrow because I will be covering some of this brand new information, brand new game modes and stuff. Hopefully, we can play on Contraband Hurricane tomorrow, and I will show you guys the full Shamrock and Awe event 
information as well at, tomorrow as well. But leave a like if you guys enjoyed, subscribe if you are new, and I will see you guys in another Call of Duty Black Ops 4 video very, very soon.